but it really doesn't matter. The truth is, you know, there could be souls that have special powers that are in human form. They may have their own ideas on politics and what's really going on, but the truth is still the truth. And let's say that the, the real greater truth is, is that we are not alone in the universe. And that to them, we come across as very powerful, highly potent, highly visible. In terms of whatever types of sunglasses that they have, in which they are viewing us as, as prey. And some of us are viewed more as prey than other humans. There could be reasons for that. It could be our emotional state. Some people that are not fully disciplined, that are frankly still human, that could excrete as if it was defecation. Uh, extremely painful emotion, right? So I have excre excreted a lot of painful emotion throughout my life because of what I was born into and the fallen state of this world. And so as a result, as long as someone, see, this is the power in meditation and being able to reel back uh, certain levels of extreme suffering through particular types of visualization. Now, we're not focused on that in particular, but I can make a mention that I was going to say this on VHX and I'll just mention it to those of you, you know, if you review the one 45 minute video that I did do on meditation three years ago when I was in New Mexico. And there's something about me in New Mexico it happened to some primal nature energy that I should see again and feel again and talk about these things again down there. Because there's something about speaking our truth, the power in certain geographical places on the planet. At least that's been my path. I can look at my return to Costa County the second time and telling you basically my life story in several hours. If you're interested in type in Alex Ansary, life story, podcast series, Costia County. Um, all this stuff is really looping back though to the same discussion. I've put myself on the radar by just speaking and being who I am, or in some areas, just appearing and having certain conversations. I remember the interference that came at me in New Mexico in 2016 that created that problem. And I remember the specific conversations on YouTube that I was having with people down there about particular experimentation of the population through chemtrails and other things. And I hypothesized whether that was arconic interference with what happened uh, in Taos, New Mexico in early 2016 as interference that was there to throw me off the path and how there are certain times in which there's been certain types of interference, including sexual. I can tell you that most of my sex 